Tatarcoach.com. Look at the left picture. That's correct. Stop there. Now look at the right. You should not insert the blade this far into the eye. So let me show you first the bad form. This is a resident operating. The incision itself is actually going to have good architecture. So here's the tip of the keratome being placed there. There's a little tiny line placed at the epithelium. And the keratome tip is being advanced. And now, as soon as that line hits the epithelium, the tip of the keratome pierces the decimates. Perfect. But why'd you put the blade so far in the eye? You don't want to stick the blade so far in the eye. It just causes more issues. You could damage intraocular structures, or you could make the incision too wide. Let's show a good incision. Here's the keratome, nice and slow. Advance it, good architecture. When that line hits the epithelium, the tip hits decimates. And we only go till that part of the blade and then out. There is no benefit of inserting the blade past the widest point. It just can damage inside the eye, such as the capsule. So let's show you again a good incision. There's the keratome tip. Start to advance it. There's the line on the blade for guidance. Slowly advance, piercing decimates right about there to the widest part, enters the AC, and then out. Let's show you one more time with the diamond keratome. Same concept, nice and slow. Start your incision, advance it. As soon as the tip pierces decimates, go to the widest part of the blade, and then come out. Perfect. The danger of going so far in the eye is also that when you come out, you'll enlarge the incision too much, causing leakage and unstable fluidics. Thanks for watching.